By now, you've all read my lecture. If you haven't done that, stop listening to this tape now and read it first. Because this tape is simply designed to supplement that lecture by helping you hear what I say about accents. Right. We'll start with individual words. If you hear somebody say garage, you know they're British, and you might guess that they're saying the word garage. That's the American pronunciation. Hear how different they are. The Brits accented on the first syllable, garage. We accented on the second, garage. Ditto, if I were to say speculation, you would probably not have any idea what word I was trying to say. No English speaker that I know of pronounces it that way. The word would properly be pronounced speculation. All I did was switch the accent to the second syllable from the third. Hear how different that is. Some words can be pronounced either way. Hello or hello. <laughs> uh, the latter pronunciation, you probably sound surprised. Some words are more heavily accented than others. The word accent or accented is heavily accented on the first syllable. If I said accented, you probably wouldn't even know what I was saying unless you heard the right one first. Breakfast or footwear are also accented on the first syllable, but there's not as great a difference. Generally, when two words are put together as one word, uh, the, the differences in accents are slighter. Practice, if, you, if, if this is all old stuff for you and you've known it for a long time, you're in good shape. If you haven't, practice picking multisyllabic English words and then accenting them uh, and then looking them up. Make sure you get accent. Stress is just another word for accent. The other thing I want you to hear, those words I used, uh, iambic tetrameter or, or trochaic, iams, those words, an iambic tetrameter line sounds like ba-ba, 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 ba-ba. If you reverse the accents, you have a, what's called a trochee, and then you have bumpa, 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 completely different sounds. Practice, learn the words. We'll, I'll be talking about this all semester. You'll need to know them. Learn the words. Practice the sounds. Uh, make sure the dictionary you use has a pronunciation guide. It should be right next to the, uh, the word you're looking up, or if you're doing it online, sometimes they have a file you can click on to hear it. Uh, but that's, that's the most important thing I want you to do this week. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.